Hi, everybody. I am Erin Cahill, and I am joined by the unbelievably charming Marco Grazzini. Hi. Um, hey, Erin. Hey, everybody. I'm joined by the equally charming Erin Cahill. <laughs> guys, I paid him so much money to say that. I'll Venmo you afterwards, Marco. Okay. Right. Um, we are so excited for you to see our new movie, Hearts in the Game. It's part of Spring into Love. And we have been sent a couple questions by Hallmark and some fans to answer. Guys, I have my little cheat sheets. So if you see me glancing down, it's because I am cheating to make sure we get these questions and answers right. Well, the answers are written, but the questions are. So here goes. Wish us luck. Um, <clears throat> so guys, in Hearts in the Game, my character Hazel, she's a, a successful PR agent, and uh, she agrees to represent baseball star Diego Vasquez, one said very charming, very handsome Marco Grazzini. Um, so without giving too much away, we were asked to share a little bit of the storyline. Marco, do you want to All right. It? Not too many spoilers, but here we go. Back in the day, uh, Hazel and Diego were high school sweethearts madly in love, together forever. However, uh, something happens on prom night. Uh, Diego is a bit of a strong, silent type. Um, they abruptly break up. And fast forward to present day. Wherein Hazel is running a very successful PR firm and Marco has become a very successful professional baseball player. Uh, he has, let's just say, a hiccup in his career, which I can't wait for you guys to see. It's actually so beautiful the way Hallmark talks about this particular issue. And begrudgingly, uh, Hazel uh, agrees to represent... Uh, Marco, I was going to say Marco, Diego, um, to help get his career back on track. So, uh, guys, it's really fun the way they have us come back together. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, do we get along at first? Well, I'll, I'll let you guys it's get. a little bit of a rough patch, but, um, you know, we find our way. Yeah. Or do we, guys? Do Tune our heart? I can't All right. Uh, moving on. Next question. <laughs> Uh, Diego is also, uh, as we established, Hazel's ex-boyfriend. And their relationship didn't end on good terms. Um, how do our characters learn to put their differences aside while working together? Well, that's, that, that's easy for, for me to answer on behalf of Hazel. She is so career focused and so professional that if she wanted to work with somebody, she would put everything aside to get the job done. So for me, it was quite easy to completely compartmentalize and be like, okay, you know what? There's the Diego I used to know and the Diego that some things happened with. And then there's Diego Vasquez, the professional baseball player, and that's who I'm representing. So for, for, for my character, it was pretty easy to separate the two until it wasn't. Um, I, I think for, for me, I mean, we, we both, Diego and, and Hazel both have a, uh, you know, a, a professional need to work with each other. Um, but obviously there's a, a bit of, you know, sticky history um, and uh, awkwardness to navigate through. Um, but I think we we both sort of you know end up very quickly remembering um, the great qualities that uh, that that drew us to each other, right? Um, and that that we find out that that connection is that spark is is still is still there. And he clearly uses that Grazzini charming smile against me at every turn. So what am I supposed to do? That's a Diego thing. It's a Diego thing. I don't know. That is a straight up Marco Grazzini thing. Oh, God. Very well for Diego. <laughs> Aaron. Aaron is Aaron is such a sweetheart. Um, is uh, is just the most uh, personable and, and one of the most personal and, and present people that I've ever met. So, wow. Every every time, every time. Marco, thank you. I, re I want to deflect with humor, but thank you. I'll just say thank you. And I really don't have script. Gladly, though. I adore you. Um, okay, guys. 
So our next question is Hazel's trying to repair Diego's career and rebuild their relationship. So Marco, why do we think viewers are going to connect with Hearts in the Game? Okay. Um, well, I think, I mean, okay. I, we, we, we all have those moments in our lives where um, we think, oh, I wish I had treated, you know, this person better or I, I should have made a wiser decision in whatever you know field, in my career or family relationships, whatever it may be. And so I think the idea of um, a do-over or second chances are appealing to, to everybody. I, that's so well said, Darlin. I, I 100% agree. Like second chances and do-overs. And for me to piggyback on that, communicate, mm -hmm. you know, the older we get, hopefully the better we learn to communicate. And when you're revisited with someone from the past you haven't talked to back when you didn't have those tools and you see them again, it's, it's really cool to watch it unfold because you have to deal with your past self and then your hopefully, you know, more evolved your present self. So it's, it was really beautiful. Um, watching that unfold between our characters. And I think everybody's going to be able to relate to that. Like you said, everybody's going to be able to relate to, ah, I wish I hadn't, or wish it had gone this particular way. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also, there's for me, a really beautiful aspect of talking about mental health in this. That's just that we can all relate to whether we've been through it, which we've all had down days. So we've all been through it, but, or we've had somebody who's really struggled, like, you know, given what we've all been through the last few years, I think it's so important that we talk about it. So this movie handles it so beautifully, but also guys, don't worry. It's also super fun and charming. I mean, you know, it is extremely super fun and, and charming. I you mean, are absolutely like, right. That is very kind. I mean, the movie, but also you're so kind. I love you, Marco. Seriously, love you too. Text me your Venmo immediately. Um, okay, you're up, Marco Grazzini. Hold on, I'm texting you my Venmo. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, next, we got. Um, Diego and Hazel help each other overcome their fears uh, and not let past wounds prevent them from moving forward. Aaron, what qualities do we like about each other's characters? Well, one thing I love about, about your character mm -hmm. that you brought so beautifully is that um, Diego's really courageously vulnerable, uh, which... Because, you know, to me, vulnerability, like I said, is, is a courage. It's a strength. And at some point, he just really opens up. And I just think, I mean, you played it so beautifully. You you guys, oh, this kind of goes into my next question, actually. If we have, actually, I'm going to save that story for the next question. Uh, but, um, yeah, Marco, it's, I love your character is really, really courageous to me. Because it takes, it takes being afraid to be courageous. Otherwise, you're just not afraid. Oh, thank you. That was, the, the, you know what, they were really um, fun notes and, and moments to, to, to play and to, um, to share with, uh, with you, Aaron. Like, honestly, um, that, that one night scene, you know, which one I'm talking about, it was freezing. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, it was, a, it was quite a um, sort of a delicate scene and uh, one that, needed a bit of a dance between um you know acting partners if if you will and uh you were you know we were there with each other every step of the way um i mean throughout the whole movie but specifically that night so um thank you for that uh to uh, sort of uh give the other side of the coin um what i really loved about hazel um Hazel was, was, you know, grew into uh, becoming a go-getter and knowing what she wanted and being able to, uh, you know, ask for it and, and go for it. And But at the same time, balanced it with a lot of heart and compassion um, and, um, and and just, you know, being, being a human being, being uh, present and uh, a person. Um, and, uh, she was really fun to be around, you know, even if they were sort of 
you know, difficult situations, she was always uh, sort of silver lining it with with uh, fun and whimsy. Oh, that's we. <laughs> and that's oh. a testament to to Aaron. <laughs> Marco, thank you. But we we got so lucky. It came, it came to us like these characters came really four dimensional. You know, they yeah. looked age. They were so hats off to the writer to our awesome lady producing team, our awesome lady directors, our awesome. It was just, it was a very, um, it was such a good energy on set, and it came from this from the root of the script up. Mm -hmm. um so wait we just said a couple things that are the perfect segue to the next question uh because we were talking a little we touched on a little bit behind the scenes mm. and so our characters had like so many fun moments they revisit their hometown they get you know they have a party with friends from high school they have ice cream sundays all kinds of things uh oh wait that is actually a little later but <laughs> um okay wait they have one scene where we are we Okay, it's a little bit of a spoiler, but we sneak onto a baseball field. It's super cute. What was your favorite like uh, scene from the movie without giving away any spoilers? All right. Um, so uh, there's a there's a hilarious scene that happens at a diner, and uh, Aaron and I bump into uh, Hazel and Diego bump into uh, old high school friends, and are invited to a huge you know, Friday night party, um, a party that neither of us necessarily are comfortable with going to because things are still kind of awkward between Diego and Hazel. So there's there's these like silent sort of like nods and, and you know, looks between um, Aaron and I uh, where, you know, there's sort of a, a conversation behind the conversation happening um, while the old high school friends are, are, you know, like really goading us into going to this party. So it's just a really funny um, contrast of like, oh, do you want to go to this? Oh, okay, we got to go. I, I yeah. completely forgot about that scene. That's so funny. But I'm like, oh my gosh, you're right. We did have so many like a... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was so fun. I, yeah, I love that scene. And also for me, the... Um, the scene when we first see each other was mm. really fun. We had an amazing actor, Donya Cash, and they, they're they just, do you remember that day? Well, now I'm slipping into behind the scenes, but there's that that scene is really fun because uh, Donya says some things. We both hear, we, like, we've, you know, our, our the characters that we're with, um, you know, they say things to us that kind of snap our characters back into place. But I thought that, that scene is really fun to me. No, I agree. Uh, yeah, much of the same note of the, of the scene that I uh, mentioned, um, Diego and, and Hazel are, you know, in, in front of each other again, somewhat unwillingly, but, you know, sort of sparks are flying and, you know, they're sort of stepping up against that, uh, that you know, un, unquestionable connection, um, but not necessarily wanting to be there with their entire being yeah <laughs> well, it's it, fun it, it's just really it's a really fun thing to you know to to play like all those all those notes yeah i think the spark in that scene is more just like from two rocks hitting each other you know those kind of sparks they turn a different different kind of sparks later but for me that scene was just like cat cat yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 those kind of sparks you're right yes. um um so well, uh, baseball. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question, Aaron. What in doubt, Marco? Baseball. What in doubt? Uh, baseball. Guys, it's 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 a uh, it's a way longer, more uh, verbose question. But all right. So uh, Diego is a professional uh, baseball pitcher, and and Hazel gets to take a swing or two of the bat in this movie. Did either Marco or Aaron have any sort of baseball experience prior to this? Okay, not really, but I have a really random... Did I tell you this on set about me playing a baseball game when I was in middle school? No. Okay. Tell me. But, okay, so I was in middle school. I was in the eighth grade, and we went... It was um, my friend Becky's birthday party. We were all in our backyard, and this is uh -huh. in a pretty big backyard. But we were playing little pickup games of softball. And I, 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 there was, I was just, I got too close to another game. I bent down to pick up the ball from our game 
and I put my face back up just in time as someone was swinging to hit their ball. And so I got a metal baseball bat to the face. Hold on, it's one of my eyes. You can see I've got a scar. Oh, I think it's that one. But I never remember, which is super weird. But you can see it sometimes on camera. So I've got a scar from, and it sounded like a metal baseball bat hitting bone. It just sounded like, bing. And everybody was like, oh. And I remember I had to go, I got stitches. And I had to go to the hospital. My face was like gushing blood. But I remember being like, like even at the time, like, uh oh, how am I going to be an actor? I've got to figure it out. Like, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. That's my always my first thought. Yeah. <laughs> But in the eighth grade, but I did, but that was like, I think that's the last time, like I might've, I might've played a little just for fun, like swung a bat a couple times when I was after that. But I, my baseball kind of ended personally, Aaron's Hazel, Hazel loves it. Hazel picks it up. Hazel well, plays. Um, baseball <laughs> bat scar, notwithstanding, you're still extremely breathtaking and gorgeous uh and can still string together uh, a whole lot of sentences so yeah <laughs> with that baseball bat um i hadn't thrown or thrown a ball since i was 13 years old or something like that and so uh yeah well, I, I got a little bit of uh, of, of coaching and, and training and physio and uh epsom salt baths and a whole lot of other things but um yeah we got through it and uh, i saw a little bit of uh, footage of of me pitching and i was like oh i like that that's good it looks yeah. fantastic yeah you did such a great job in training because you only got a couple of training sessions right like two or something did i'm you... an athlete is what you're trying to say i should become a professional <laughs> athlete as well as a professional actor and that, that'd be the first first time the other <laughs> way around because usually athletes think oh all right, let me try this acting thing you know now that my um athlete career has fizzled out but i'm gonna i'm gonna do the other way around i'm gonna become a professional athlete whoa um, ripe old age of i'm not telling you guys <laughs> but also uh you know let's let we're spitballing here there's no wrong answers marco and we'll talk about we'll put a pin in that okay pin. <laughs> speaking as someone who like for pick up being a professional anything at this point um no you you really did you really looked so good the footage I saw. Guys, wait till you see it. You're going to really, he looks like a professional pitcher. It's super. It was a lot of fun. It's super impressive. I mean, yeah. the whole, you're going to see the whole thing with the head and the thing and the very impressive. Um, you, you smacked that, you smacked that, that ball with the bat. It was pretty. I did, guys. Yeah. Got, well, it's not really the ball ever I was afraid of. It's like baseball bats. So don't, yeah, don't come too close to me with the baseball bat. I'll be like, no. Um, <laughs> never heard told that story. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, so I have my next question. Although I kind of slid into this question before. So, because um, our characters, they're trying to elevate their careers. You know, they also get a chance to relive some memories. Like like I said, they go to ice cream and, and a high school party. And we've talked about that. But there's so much opportunity. We had so much fun making this movie. I mean, I don't want to speak for you, but I had, like, we laughed. I had such a great time. And it was, it was just oddly like peaceful and loving at the same time but what when when you think of the behind the scenes like what's your first story that comes to mind or your first two what the heck we're first here two, uh i'll give you one uh what immediately sprung to mind was um you got the chance to dance to i saw the sign by ace <laughs> of bass um and it's it's one of those songs that instantly transports you to the you know the good old days of the 90s um, I mean, it looked like you would have been happy to dance the entire day. By the way, phenomenal dancer. Uh, you know, she's uh, going to be teaching a master class, soon, right? <laughs> uh, I, and it was it was just very tough for me not to also break into dance, given that I have no dance background. <laughs> um, but it was it just it was just so fun, uh, Aaron and and. Uh, and Sarah, uh, one of our co-stars, uh, got yeah. to do that for a couple hours. Um, and, and yeah, again, it's just one of those those songs that just like whoosh, drops you into a, a, a time and space. I, 
I love that you brought, totally. I mean, you literally are instantly transported back to when it came out when you're a kid. And I just love that you brought it up because it was, that was such a fun day. We genuinely, all of us laughed. Cause then remember when they were doing your coverage, Sarah and I were just doing stuff off camera just to make you guys bust up. So we were like, Oh yeah. <laughs> for like in it. We yeah. Like, they were doing we silly dances off camera. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. that, that always works. Yeah. yeah. And you were, you guys were just laughing. It was such a fun day. Um, do you know what? I have talked about this. Actually, I'm going to tell my two back to back and then if you have another one, but, but I've talked about this in like most interviews, the day we snuck into the baseball field and, and they called cut and you and I would just gun it. We would just gun it to the warm up band because it was so cold. So Stacey would be like, cut. I don't even think she got the T out. And we just like, Ooh, Ooh, like running and we get in the band. And I remember distinctly being like, do, do you remember what happened? Did I mess up? And you're like, I don't know. Like, yeah, those uh, those those days on the baseball field were actually the coldest days of the shoot. Um, and and th the question was, can we share any fun? <laughs> but you know what? Uh, I, sometimes, you know, when you're when you're going through some uh, some more sort of diff it was actually fun. You know, it was fun that we had each other there to uh you know to sort of huddle up and and uh get us through it because yeah those are some cold cold nights uh and it was just yeah the, i the image of you trying to get through that uh the the fence there i don't know if i'm spoiling but um that's hilarious it was very fun it was a very fun night. i brought it up in so many interviews and you guys i just want to share one another quick one because this is right. for blowing smoke marco is this it's just such a beautiful moment there's a moment in the in the story when he's really vulnerable like i talked about and the it's written so beautifully but also marco you delivered it so beautifully i think we did maybe two takes and it was so it was it was one of those moments in an actor's career like i hope you put that in your heart pocket forever because it's one of those moments if you're having a bad day you get to pull that out and go those are those like I did great because you nailed it and it was palpable on set and you guys it was cold like I don't know how you gave that performance because we that we were being shot from here up we had like like blankets and like heating pads and we were we were I'm pretty sure the bottom half of me was just quaking and he gave this incredible performance that everybody on set no matter how cold we were everybody was like you could feel it. So I just had to share that moment because it was really beautiful. And I know that viewers, when you guys, when you see it, you're going to be like, that's the moment Aaron was talking about. And it was everybody on South felt it. So it was really beautiful. Uh, Aaron, thank you. You, uh, you absolutely, um, more my heart. I honestly, I could not have come anywhere close to, to that without, you know, without you and then being able to, you know, feel, uh, comfortable and supported and and you know knowing that you're 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 there to you know catch me so to speak so um yeah anytime be but, ready yeah i see you you've got a hug a massive hug coming your way actually that's what i did when you finished the take it review was like <gasps> i like grabbed you and we like i mean it was it was 90 percent for warmth but really <laughs> <laughs> that was, <laughs> that's hilarious um, yeah. um Okay. Yeah, every every after every scene outside, Aaron would be like, "That was that was wonderful. I a wonderful performance." And she would hug me for like you know a minute straight, um, just, just trying to get warmth. Um, but no. Hands of people's armpits to warm them up. I do it to my husband all the time. He's always like, "Babe," or I'll do it like I'll just get in there and warm my hands in his armpits. Hey, man, that's part of the marriage contract. It is. It's really, it's really tiny written in the bylaws. Got to read the fine print. Thank you guys. Now I get to tell him, um, you clearly didn't read the contract. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so this is the first time that we've worked together. I know. It was a blast. It was, uh, it was absent from the moment. Um, first moment day one. Uh, I mean, even from the, uh, you know, the little, meet and greet table read that we had but it was it was great chemistry between us um uh, but how did you like working with me please say nice things uh, <laughs> you already did though so uh, you know um but more, more nice or, or the rest of the cast enough about me um speak on the, the rest of the cast i will speak to 
whatever I want, Marco. Could, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I would like to speak really though, I, guys, from the bottom of my heart, Marco, from the minute I met you. And I said, I've been saying in a bunch of interviews, our energy is so different, but so complimentary. Cause I'm coming and I'm like, good morning, everybody. <laughs> like a Muppet and you're just like this calm, peaceful rock and you're like, good morning. And you laugh and you're just like, it's like, it was such a joy to work with you because we would compliment each other in that way on and off camera. Um, and I just like, and, and, but truly from the first result, you guys like he's, and I had your reputation superseded you because we have mutual friends in common. So I had heard how wonderful you are. And so it, you lived up to it and beyond. Um, and I just, yeah. And everybody's so enamored. I'm like, I'm like, everything you want him to be, guys, he is exactly that. E everything you hope he is, that's him. Um, and the rest of the cast, Marco, seriously, how lucky did we get? Like we were so, 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 so lucky. Um, <laughs> they were phenomenal from, 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 uh, you know, from start to finish. It, it was such a well-rounded, you know, defined group of, of characters that lived and breathed in, in Diego and, and uh, Hazel's world. Um, and they really made the, the movie so much, um, so much richer from uh, Bethany to Danya to Jason uh, to Sarah. Um, it, it, you know, you, you just felt like, I, I think the viewers are going to watch this movie and really feel like, uh, you know, everybody just fits in, to each other and, and they've been around each other, you know, from years ago, from time. And, and uh, I love that um, that's going to be able to, to translate. Yeah. You just said that so well, it's uh, really the scenes when it's, it's us and Jason and Sarah, mm -hmm. it really felt like we knew each other forever. And you and Sarah, Oh, I have a couple scenes with Sarah that I would just look at her and start crying. She was just, so great um but jason do you remember he just kept making us laugh because jason like, just makes me laugh like he would step <laughs> into and he'd just step into the makeup chair and i'd, I'd die of laughter um and uh yeah it's, it's just perfect and, and and not even to start on on donya um same with donya what a what a magnificent human donya do you remember on set do, do you remember there were a couple scenes but i would be are we there for this there were Donnie was doing like their monologues and stuff and I would be off camera. And there were a couple times they made me laugh so hard. I literally had to look down and be like, and be like, like I, and I never like to do that to actors off camera ever, ever. I try and stay in it, but they were so charming and they could like kept throwing in a couple little things. And I was like, no, uh, <laughs> Donya is such a, a whirlwind of, of energy and charm. And I don't think I've ever done this before, but I pulled out my phone and recorded uh, the the, uh, the the monitors that we have off uh, um, offset, um, and I was recording uh, their footage just because I was transfixed. It, it was amazing. I and I made sure to you know go up to Diane and, and tell them after. Um, yeah, everybody's gonna everybody's gonna fall in love with with Jax. Uh, just such a yeah, such an alive, um, vivacious character that you just you just love yeah it's true and and all of them i love i love this cast so yeah um, and last yeah. but not least um aaron like again from the beginning so so lovely and so uh just generous and and uh open to improv and we were finishing each other's sentences on on day one you know <laughs> Um, and that really lends itself to, uh, you know, thinking that, uh, believing that, that Hazel and Diego, you know, were, uh, long last loves from high school. Um, it was just a, an easy, uh, relationship to, uh, step into every day with, with you, uh, Aaron and would gladly, uh, you know, sign up for, uh, you know, any sort of sequel or other movie, maybe a, detective caper or something like that but uh yeah oh. super super cool people aaron cahill i i feel the That's same a, card. a gift to work with you and i just want to quick shout out to penny perry davis and tatiana erasme for is that how you say i i need to ask tat how to pronounce her last name correctly i just kind of took a stab um but to those women for thinking of us for this movie i mean 
personally, this was such a gift in my life. And I love the subject matter. I love how it's light and really emotional, really touching at the same time. So huge shout out to them for, for, you know, thinking of, of me for this and us for this. Mm -hmm. I jackpot. Um, those are, by the way, guys, in case you don't know, those are our casting directors over at Hallmark. Those are our girls who, who make the decisions. And I, I don't, yeah, very, very fortunate. Um, okay, guys, we like to end these Facebook lives with a little game of this or that. And it's inspired by Hearts in the Game. It's all about, you know, the, the spring into love we are, we are fortunate to be part of. So I'm going to rapid fire, although I'm kind of the worst. If any of you have seen me in this uh, Facebook Live, I'm the worst at rapid fire. I'm the worst at answering questions succinctly. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. I also like to cheat and say both. But... Hold on. Uh, rapid fire. Does that mean just, just one word? Yeah. Pick one? Okay. No. All right. Okay, ready? So I'm going to say something or something, and you just go. And then okay. I'll go. Okay? All right. Ready? Pizza or Chinese takeout? Pizza. Pizza. Uh, high school reunion or prom? Re reunion. Prom. Okay. <laughs> no, no pimples for high school reunion. There's pimples at prom. Oh, well, now you've got logic all over me. Okay. Uh, live in a big city or small town? Both. Both? No, wait. I'm not even kidding. I'm not trying to cheat. I'm not stealing your answer. I literally was going to say both in that one. Because how can you pick? Both. Uh, okay. Cook at home or eat out at dinner? Home. <laughs> eat out. <laughs> all right. I'm making pizza. It's your choice. <laughs> Oh, deal. Oh, the pizza scene in this movie. Anyway, we'll, we'll, you guys will see it. We can't wait to hear what you think. Yeah. Um, the last one, ready? All right. uh, play a game of baseball or watch from the stands? Watch. Play. Watch. I genuinely, I'm like, I'll get on the field. That'll be, that'll be fun. Unless we're watching with some sort of adult beverage, in which case, both. I'd like to play a few innings and then watch. How about yeah, that? chocolate milk and baseball are phenomenal together. <laughs> uh, no, man. Uh, yeah, the, the baseball was fun, but it was also, uh, yeah, uh, sports are more difficult when, you, when you're older, um, you know? So uh, I'll, I'll watch. I'll watch. Uh, all right. I'll come watch with you. And guys, we hope you watch with us. Um, nice segue. Thank you so much for, I don't know. Bro, wow. Well, that, um, but guys, seriously, thank you so much for joining us for this live. Um, we hope you had so much fun. You know, I know I did. Marco, I did. I had a blast. And yeah. uh, we hope you tune in uh, to watch with us this Saturday, uh, April 29th, 8 o'clock, 7 Central, only on Hallmark Channel. Called Hearts in the Game. Uh, we can't wait to see you there. Part of Spring Into Love. Please tweet along with us at um, hashtag Hearts in the Game. Are you going to be tweeting, Marco? I will. I'll be tweeting along with you. Well, then I will see you Saturday evening, and we hope to see you guys there too. Hope so you like fun. it, everybody. Thank you so much we for joining. We had a lot of fun doing it. Thanks, Bye. Aaron. Bye. Mwah.